What's up guys and welcome to episode 7 of my modern Minecraft Infinity series. Uh, FTB Infinity to be precise. Welcome back. Um, in the comments somebody asked me to share the seed. So there you go. Um, feel free by all means to start up a world and play along with me. Uh, I would love to have it. Uh, just to give you a check on, on last episode, this thing is still working beautifully. It is not taking any damage whatsoever. So, uh, mission accomplished there. I can just leave this thing going. Uh, real quick, I want to show you a couple other things that I have done. And to start with, we're going to need to step into our mining age to get our... Uh, to get this thing kicked off. Now... I got tired of coming in here and losing all my health and then having to drain my hunger and everything else. So I made uh, this little gadget from RF Tools called the Environmental Controller. Um, what it does is you set a radius and the height. Make sure if you use one of these uh, that you actually pay attention to what your Y level is. And you can see that on the mini map over here. Uh, we're at Y254 right here. So I set it from Y250 to 256. Uh, so that anytime we're in this range, uh, we're being hit. And what it's doing is it's giving us uh, regenerate, Regen 3 and Saturation 3. So it's, it's counteracting the Hunger 3 and Poison. Um, not much. I could, I could probably do Haste if I really cared about the Mining Fatigue. But we probably won't be using this dimension very much longer. Um, I do believe that's all I did in here. Yep, we're running, so let's get out of here. And what's great about this is it lasts... Whoops. Wrong one. It lasts, you'll notice. Oh, it, it almost didn't last. But it usually lasts just a little bit longer than the poison does. Um, next, um, we're going to be ready to get started with AE over at the other base, so I decided to get some things in order. Uh, as you can see, I'm running out of space here. Um, I went ahead and automated my processing and I'm just kind of trying to take the time to make things look nice or at least nicer. I probably should have used slopes. Well, I couldn't use slopes right here and I'll show you why. Um, oh, I, I'm getting in the bad habit of doing this. Um, I tend to put my ender pouch in the ender chest. Um, so let me also grab my wrench while I'm right here and I'll show you um, also I kind of covered this up and put a hatch on there so I wouldn't fall in lag yeah uh, now it's not pretty but um, nah who cares <laughs> I could probably uh, exchange that with uh, the other slope block and make it look better uh, and I might do that. Um, so what I have here, um, as you can see, just Ender I.O. going into it. Now I have to put the gold and diamonds and silicon and surge quartz in here. Um, but once I do that, it's hands off. And I need to keep this stocked with redstone. Uh, but after that, it's, it's hands off. Um, and it actually feeds into my AE system. I will show you that. Um, but all I have is one inscriber for each of these and then not it's not gonna let me click on it to show you but I have um, item filters in each one of these um, that allows it to insert uh, gold and then it will only extract from from the extract or uh, from from this uh, slot so I don't need to worry about a filter for that and then it puts it back in this chest and then there is another guy right there that is taking all the circuit boards out and placing them in this chest. And then this guy is set up like that. And I have uh, circuit boards being fed into this one. And then redstone, I believe, going into this one. And then silicon going into the bottom. And then it's being extracted out of the back right there. And then you see I have an import bus that is uh, I can I get down there I don't think I left a way for me to get down there to show you um, but 
inside there, it, it, I have it filtered with a capacity card so that it will only pull in my processors. And you see I've been busy doing that because we're going to need a good, good stack of those guys. Um, to get started with our AE base, uh, our AE building over there, um, I also went ahead, and I don't think I can show you this up here, um, but I went ahead and connected my Ender Pearl and Blaze uh, caches. There are import buses, or I'm sorry, there are storage buses underneath here, um, so <clears throat> so that I can see how much of each one of these I've got. And I'm now running this thing full blast because my reactor can handle it because we're we're full power. Um, this is actually something I just recently learned about big reactors. Uh, you need to have it full um, for it to to function at its max power and we're not at max power we have all of our control rods set at 95 percent so um, all I really have to do is put a lever on this block right here and we can and we can go on to um, go to have it have it as a switch it's already set up all I have to do is put a lever on there and when I flip the lever on it'll it'll throttle this baby up uh, but it's working well and we are really I mean we're we're back stuffed on uranium not not terribly um, oh that's one other thing I had to do I had to go to my uh, export bus here and put a capacity card in so I could add uranium ingots to it for whatever reason the yellowite that we get out of Mistcraft Ages uh, comes back uh, for whatever reason. It smelts down into uranium ingots. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, that was an easy fix. Craft Those capacity cards are really easy to craft. Um, but um, as we're running that, we're, we're gaining cyanite so that we can eventually build a turbine. Uh, cyanite? Ooh, 16 blocks and 75. Awesome. Um, what else? What else did I do? Hi. Yeah, so the um, the environmental controller that I have in the Miscraft Age, we're going to use this episode, but we're going to make a new one. So I'm going to walk you through... How many emeralds do I have? Ooh, not enough. Let me see if I can make some emeralds real quick. Okay, you have to forgive the Enderman dying in the background. Okay, so environmental controller. There we go. Uh, first, we're going to need one of these guys. There we go. Put all that back. Machine frame. And then I need this, and I need a diamond block. Okay, now we've got an environmental controller. Now, for this to work, we have to make these. Uh, we need the region three, which means we're going to need uh, one, two, uh, three of those guys, because we have to make this one. And then I also want the saturation three, uh, which means I'm going to need gonna need to make one two three more okay now the way this works is you find a guy like our buddy here and okay so we've got that done uh, the next one I have to get for the zon for the yeah for the zombie is saturation. Okay, I got my zombie here, but I'm probably gonna kill him doing this.
Okay. Yeah, he died. See if there's another one around here. Yeah, there we go. All right, I think that's all three of them. Okay, so now I have my um, thing here. I actually, I AFK'd for a little while and I now have 10 Enderman heads. So I need, um, that was actually one of the things I needed. Um, but to get power up there uh, to where we're gonna be messing around today, uh, we're gonna need another dimensional transceiver. I'm gonna need an octatic capacitor, which let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna need another double layer. Now, fused quartz, dimensional transceiver. Awesome. Um, place you here and we will configure you Corey receive and pick you up okay we're good to go with him now last thing we get, need to do before we set out and then I'll craft some stuff off camera that I need uh, I will need um, this guy but I have to craft this one first and then we can craft this guy thank you and saturation and then saturation plus awesome now let's go upstairs and um, actually I need to craft some stuff off off camera and I'll meet you guys upstairs Okay, I think this is as good a place as any to start. Oh, I feel better. I let my hunger run all the way down, but it's about to not be an issue over here. Um, okay, so I'm getting the base. And by the way, if I didn't mention what we're doing, it's time to get started in Blood Magic. And I tweeted out earlier today, if you could follow me on Twitter, at GuitarCFD, that I thought today was a good day to get started on Blood Magic. Um, simply because I really am kind of in a hurry to get into Thomcraft. Um, but before I do that, um, I want, uh, I want to be able to move nodes with teleposers. So today we're going to do real quick, we're going to get through and we're going to get a tier three altar or a tier four altar so that we can make teleposers. We're not going to go all the way through blood magic and do a bunch of stuff. Um, but we're going to get a good start going. So I'm going to finish framing out my altar here, and I'm going to have to reference the guide on the wiki, because uh, I do believe it's two forward and one up, uh, but I do sometimes forget, uh, and I need to be sure. I, I would hate to do all the work of laying this thing out and then be wrong. So I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, now after after messing around with it a little bit, I do believe I have it right. Um, and we're gonna have to mess around with how we want this thing to look. Like for instance, we I definitely don't want this here. Well, no, the torch is keeping my keeping my center. Yeah, so, uh, quite a bit of, uh, planning here. And, alright, now I've got some stairs to get, get up there. Now comes the fun part. Um... So to do anything, well, you know what, before we do this, um, let's go ahead and, 
All right, so we will plop down our dimensional transceiver. Bang. And oh, I'd really like that to be centered. Yeah, let's do that. Give me that. Give me you. And do that. All right. Uh, dimensional transceiver. And then you. And you and you. And we only need a, a radius of like 13 or so. And we're at Y200 right here. So we want from, uh, let's say, 195 to uh, 220. And we should start seeing that pick up. Maybe. Oh, that's why. Uh, actually, no, I wanted that to be 220. Had my height wrong. 195 to 220. That should work. We should start seeing ourselves. There we go. Alright, now, because what that enables us to do, because Blood Magic is very grindy in the beginning, I remember on the last season right there where I did it at the end, Oops. It, I, I mean, it actually took forever. Um, yeah, okay, so <laughs> let me explain why I did what I did with this thing. Um, okay, so I've got regen coming in here. Oops, I almost killed myself because I can't see my my health through the runic armor. Um, anytime you're near a blood magic altar um, and you have any form of regen, you get saturate, you get hunger. So to counteract that, I have sa saturation three, which is keeping my hunger full and keeping my regen going. I'm actually going to take this runic ring off so that I can see my hearts. Uh, now, I want to fill up this altar as much as possible, and it has a pretty large buffer, and then we're going to start making uh, slates. And actually, I think we need to go grab a couple other things. I might have the stuff I need over there. I'll be back in ooh, excuse me. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I borrowed a diamond from my uh from my Batania area over there this place is going to look really cool when it's all done too i got to be sure i keep it daytime over here because um um yeah okay hopefully i have enough in there to make that happen and we'll come here and can i take a nap yet nope come on come on come on uh, I need this before I can make my first uh, sigil, which I'm going to need. Come on. There we go. Need to do it before. See, you, you can see the blizz spawning over there. Make an orb. Uh, so the divination sigil is what we need. I need a blank slate, and I need one of my first uh, orbs. So I'll get my orb made, and then I'll get a divination sigil, and then we'll start automating the plates. 
And voila, we have it. So now that we have that, I keep missing this every time I look in my inventory for it. So let's come over here. And I'm telling you guys, this whole uh, drop and catch yourself with the glider thing, bang. I'm a freaking master at it now. Okay, so I've got a couple slates. Let's go ahead and make a divination sigil. I can do it in my AE system as soon as I bind it to myself. So, uh, put you guys up there, you there, you there, you there, you there, you there, and you there. And we have a divination sigil. Give me you back. Thank you. And we bind it to ourselves. We currently have 200 life essence in our soul network. Oh boy. Now the fun starts. Uh, now, I'm going to do a bunch of work off camera and get a bunch of stuff together. Okay, just because this makes it much easier crafting. Um, got this, got that. Uh, rune. Alright, we need blood runes, and we need a lot of them. So, uh, we will need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to start. And if we give this thing a whack, tier 2. Awesome. Okay, moving to a tier 3 altar. Definitely have to finish building this thing out. Uh, that's getting old. Alright, so one. Okay, so I've made four runes of self sacrifice to kind of help with this. And we'll just place those right here in the middle just for aesthetic purposes. So there's that, and now that should be a tier 3 altar. Tier 3, awesome. Now to move to tier 4, we got to do something else, and I need a lot of these, uh, I need a lot of these reinforced slates we've got to make. Uh, ritual stones, which are reinforced slates and obsidian and I've got to make the master ritual slate which is ritual stones and obsidian. I could probably I could do that one now. I have four of those and then it's just smooth stone. Um, okay so we're empty. If I hit myself once oh, that's not bad. See if it helps us out at all. Yeah, that's much better. Because I'll heal back now. And I can do it one more, and I should be pretty close to full. Also, I'm tired of forgetting things and having to run back and forth, so I'm solving that problem now. Um, I have made a couple of things from RF tools. Um, I'm going to have to do this. And then this. And that. 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 We'll put dialing device here. Receiver there. And transmitter here. We're going to name this one Blood, Blood Alter Send and we're going to call this one Blood Alter Receive 
Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, I can do this and this, tell it to dial, walk on this path, and I'm here. Now I do this and this and dial and perfect it's exactly what I wanted okay I made some changes um, with tier 3 I was able to upgrade uh, to these runes of augmented capacity uh, which means my total LP capacity is now 5800 and I could increase that a little bit more if I wanted to, but this should be good for now. I just need enough that I can walk away from here for a minute. Um, it's driving me crazy having to stand here and, and do that number. Um, so I went ahead and made those. I'm going to uh, reinitiate my automation here in a minute. And we'll see where we go from there. I'm going to have to take a break here in a minute. This is brutal. Oh, man, that was so nice. I was able to go over there and drain some mana from the pools that were overflowing that I really need to keep tabs on because making that Terra Steel is going to be a pain. And I come back, and this thing was still half full. See? How awesome is that? This was a good idea. Alright guys, welcome back. And we have a Tier 4 Halter. Uh, I just lost all motivation to record last night while I was doing this. It was mind-numbing. Uh, the amount of time that this took to get done. Um, but I have a Tier, a, a tier 4 Halter now. Bam, and I've got 5800 LP in it. I went ahead and made runes of sacrifice to put around this thing, 28 runes of sacrifice, which can up the amount of LP I get from uh, most stuff. And then I have, uh, I'll probably, I can replace these four with runes of sacrifice, I think. Uh, almost, I have three more, which means I need, uh, I think I need demonic slates for those. Um, no, I don't. Uh, rune... Rune of Sacrifice, uh, Reinforced Slate, and I have two of them. Uh, so just to show you how those are made, go back down to my AE system, which I put in some teleporters. Don't know if I showed this on camera or not. Uh, these are easy travel back and forth from um, RF tools. Uh, but real quick, if I put those guys in there, and I have caps lock on. Rune of Sacrifice. Just do that number right there. And now we have it. Give me my orb back, please. Thank you. And we're back. Do I have... No, they're not in here. Okay. Come back. And they're permanently locked in. That's one thing I like. But and it doesn't count. It doesn't cost any power to keep that gateway open. Only when you um, go back and forth. Uh, so we have our tier four altar, and now um, we have something to do. Uh, this was the whole purpose of all this blood magic. All these blood magic shenanigans. We want teleposers. Um, I'm going to make eight just to have a couple extras, and I'm going to make one of them the, um, I'm going to make one of them the, I think I only need to make three. I'll, I'll make three for now. All right, so there are my two actual teleposer blocks. This one will be my teleposer focus, right? Teleposition focus. Um... And then we'll be able to get started in Thomcraft the way I want to. And okay, give me this back. 
Oh yeah, I got plenty. So this one I'm going to leave in, let it get extra crispy. And we'll put these guys back in here. Like anything, uh, before it will work. Actually, I probably didn't need to do that to those. Oh well. Keep going. This costs about 10,000 LP to, to, to send it up to the next level. Um, while I'm waiting on that, let me show you the build. Um, so this is where I'm headed with it. Um, and I am sorry guys, you missed the, 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 uh, binding ritual and chasing after the stuff, but I'm, uh, chasing after the, what do you call them? The, uh, I cannot think to save my life. Chasing after the, uh, oh man, uh, bloodstone bricks, these guys, weak blood shards, but I'm guessing you guys have seen that already and I saved you a lot of watching this. Awesome. Uh, this one will do, should do a three by three by three above it. Uh, so that's how we're going to move the hungry nodes. And we'll head back down. Uh, I guess I could finish showing you the build as soon as this is over. Eh. Uh, get away from it a little bit and give you a look from far away. Um, keep in mind, too, that all um, that we're also going to have beacons on the next level. Um, and I'm gonna bring this tier, <coughs> this Tyrion here, down to the next level because I think it's gonna go all the way around. And then this right here, I don't know how I'm gonna tie that in yet, but I'll tie it in. Carpenter blocks are fun, and I'm enjoying them. And I used this hex plating because I thought it kind of looked like uh, blood. This is a blood altar. So, um, you, you guys know I'm not a builder. I want your feedback. Let me know what you think. I'm not 100% sold on the caps on top. But, uh, you know, for not being a builder, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, these are Tyrion blocks, by the way. Uh, all of these are, are Tyrion. Uh, even the inside here. And I put a little rail in here, and what we're going to do is... Uh, I have a witch in a safari net right here um, and that will go in and we'll do the well of suffering and let's go down and make our teleposers real quick uh, so if I say teleposer one two Awesome. And then I'll need a lever. And then we'll keep all that stuff together up here. Where are we going? There we are. In this chest right here. Just keep that there, that there. That there. Oh yeah, and I made a flux infused bow. Um, so it's it it, it works very nicely. Got a couple gas tears. Actually got that before. Um, yeah, before I uh, I had a bow. I had to trap a gas on the ground. It was not fun. Um. Also, I have in here a bunch of uh, carpenter's blocks that I, I was trying to play around with. What did I do with that rune? There it is. Um, I think to close this out, we're going to... I'm going to collect all these, and then we'll put in the Well of Suffering underneath. I'll see you guys back in a bit. Yeah, so what I was thinking is it would be cool... If we did something like that, put the ritual stone right there. 
Oh, good. So I can still get back and forth. Now, I went ahead and made the Ritual Diviner that can do this. I need to grab... I'm missing a couple Ritual Stones. Um, actually, I need to check this Ritual real quick. Give me, give me a second to do that. I don't remember exactly how many I need. I think it's 36. But I could be wrong. Let me check. Yes, I was right. It's 36. So we have everything we need to do this. Uh, only thing I'm not sure about is placement. Oh, went to the wrong side. I get turned around up here for whatever reason. It's not like I have big uh, glaring things to give me, to tell me where to go. So I have the ritual stones in my inventory. Um, next, what I need to do is find the well of suffering. And then just do this right here. Uh, my, I think maybe it was as simple as something was in the way. Yeah, they're placing now. I need to move this entire ritual down one space. Well, that was not fun. I just had a surprise attack from a creeper as I was clearing that stuff out. And just ha so happened, um, I had just dropped my uh, divining rod when it happened. So I need to make a couple, do a couple more runes. Ritual diviner. I need this one so it can place dusk runes. And bang, we're good to go. And then... I need the Well of Suffering. There we go. And I have 32 of these guys in, and this should work. There we go. Now this is all set in. I can still get in and out of here okay I'll probably move this down uh, my idea I think <coughs> is to uh, I'm gonna need to put 12 witches in here within range of this thing and my idea is to make a uh, a cage hmm like starting right here and that'll be the first thing we see when we come in here uh, and the reason I want to use witches is because uh, witches regenerate I may need to take this down another level I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do that in the next episode uh, sorry if this was a short one guys and we didn't get much done but we got uh, some stuff done that we needed to get oh whoops I didn't want to leave Oh, it's kind of confusing, too. Um, we got some stuff done that we needed to get done in order to uh, to move on to Thomcraft, which is one of the next things we do. Uh, I don't know if it's the next thing we do. Um, I still have some building I need to do over here, which I don't know if I showed, but I did um, start kind of laying out an idea. Um... I need to find a good dark color of wood that goes with this, but I actually want wood logs and not living wood. So I need to do some thinking on that and to see what I can come up with and just plant those saplings in my tree farm. Of course, it, it wouldn't hurt to maybe use acacia. Hmm that's a thought hmm nah something we can figure out later uh, I think okay so you guys tell me in the comments what we do next do we mess with a like, with setting up uh, our our main applied energistic space or do we uh, we need to do agriculture. In fact, give me just a second. We'll come back and we'll make a list of things we want to do. And I will wait on you guys to tell me what the next step is. Okay, here we go. Shift click and we have a clipboard. 
Okay, so uh, things on the list. Uh, we need a main AE hub that's going to supply all these little bases and everything that we're doing uh, up on top of the mountain. Um, we need an agriculture base because we need things like leather, ink sacks, wheat, sugar cane. Um, a lot of that, you know, I'm going to mix up how I'm doing it. I think I'm going to do sugar cane with applied energistics. Um, I think I'll do like my cows with uh, like cows and chickens because I need feathers too for different things. I think I'll do that with, uh, with MFR. Um, squid, I think I'm going to do vanilla style. Um, I'm up here and... Um, as long as I can keep the water from freezing, which will be relatively easy, just put some covers over it. Um, I think I can can get quite a bit of squid from going uh, from just doing that and getting quite a bit of ink, ink sacks. Um, also, we need thom we need a thomcraft base. runic altar and all that good stuff and uh, we have nodes that we can start putting together uh, I found I have, now have two bright nodes to work with really kind of excited about that um, on top of this we got AE agriculture thomcraft ore processing we have basic ore processing down here but I want a main base because uh, I want RF tools to be connecting us everywhere. Um, oh, I can, I can think of another one. Uh, mob processing. Uh, we also need to build the main main reactor, which the main reactor and the AE hub are going to be in a central location. They'll probably be right on top of one another. Um, the main reactor that we're going to build is going to be uh, 15 by 15 by 7 inside. Whatever other ideas you guys come up with, uh, let me know and I'll put them on the list. Uh, but those are my immediate ones. And I think... Yeah, I can place it right there so I can look at it. Uh, let's place it right there. So it's right there by our, our uh, ME terminal. Cool? Uh, guys, okay, so in the comments, I want to hear what you think about my uh, my little, you know, cre you know, my building with the altar. Uh, we have a long ways to go with that. We need beacons. We need to do a demon invasion to get it all the way up to a tier 6 altar. I don't want to do that all at once. I needed it. I needed it. Uh, needed a tier 4 altar for teleposers. We got those. Um, so now we can move nodes around. We have a hungry node. I have two bright nodes to feed and, and grow into energized nodes. Um, I want to get started with that pretty quick. I'm going to give the uh, I'm going to give the hungry node its own um, uh, lumber mill type thing where we're making making planks and feeding it crafting tables. Um, so all this stuff I may do ore processing next but after that I want you guys to leave a comment and tell me what you guys want to see uh, so thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys in the next episode